The Amazon is home to the world's biggest snakes. Goats, deer, and even crocodiles have been devoured by them. So, if an anaconda tried to devour you, what would happen? Someone, believe it or not, was foolish enough to do this in 2014. He was dressed in a massive, thick pig's blood costume. The anaconda tried for an hour to swallow the human body by wrapping its jaws around the suit's head, but it proved unsuccessful. How would an anaconda be able to devour a full-grown adult if it was successful? So you're strolling through the Amazon rainforest and come upon one of these massive anacondas. Green anacondas may reach a length of 9 meters, 30 feet, and weigh up to 225 kg, 500 pounds. You would assume you'd be a good dinner for them, considering an anaconda's tiny meal weighs around 18 kg, 40 pounds. They would be pleased for weeks if they ate you. However, an anaconda may not be interested in a meal weighing more over 4 to 5 kg, 100 pounds. You take too long to devour because you're so big, not to mention taller and wider than most of the creatures it consumes. As a result, the anaconda would be susceptible to predators for weeks, if not months, as it digested you, but suppose it really did want to devour you. What would then happen? An anaconda would kill you first before swallowing you. An anaconda is a type of constrictor snake that kills its victim by wrapping its body around it and crushing it to death with almost 9,000 pounds of pressure. It would be a swift conclusion for you, but we all know how this show works. So, let's pretend you make it through this and we get to watch the whole thing. The anaconda's jaws would then open wider, swallowing you completely. Because it just has teeth for gripping its prey, you won't have to worry about it eating you up into small parts. The anaconda, unlike other snakes, is not poisonous, thus its fangs will not poison and immobilize you. However, there will be a lot of saliva in the anaconda's mouth. Yes, this will be used to wet you so the anaconda can slip you down their gullet more easily. So you've made your way down the snake's throat. The muscles in the esophagus, like those in many other animals, will propel you down the snake's body. The anaconda can also flex and bend its ribs, crushing you even more and forcing you deeper into its guts. Now you're in the guts of an anaconda. Don't worry, we're still looking after you. To make things more interesting, the stomach of an anaconda releases potent acids and enzymes that destroy your skin and, eventually, your bones. What is the rate of action of these acids? An anaconda once disintegrated the skin of an alligator in just three days. As a result, your mushy, spongy skin would vanish swiftly. As you passed through the snake's tiny gut, your body would break down even further. This is because the liver and pancreas secrete considerably more powerful enzymes. At this point, everything save your hair and nails would be digested. Even if you were wearing some sort of magical suit that shielded you from the acid and everything else, it would take a few weeks until you were pooped out. As a result, you'd most likely starve. Leave anacondas alone, even if anything like this is extremely rare. They're usually not interested in eating you since you're too large. They're only attempting to protect themselves.